It's not about uh, Beyonce stands or the Beehive. It's about Marissa, who I play, her sister, Dre, her interesting way of fighting for her sister through using what they have bonded on since they were little girls. And it's about her journey with mental health and my sister's journey with mental health. And it's focusing on her and our bond. And it's really at the end of it about sisterhood and how we have been so dependent on each other and needing each other to stand. And yeah, so it's about Dre's experience and what she's used as her outlet and as her vice. Yeah, um, I think Miss Cassette, like it's really not about the singer per se, and it's not about a whole, uh, a whole swarm of a, it's not about a whole particular group in that Dre is really an individual. She is an individual. She's not really attached to any group, really. Like she's, she's on her own mission, like to me. It feels like, I mean, she shares a common interest of a love of a celebrity, but she's not recruiting people and like going on this thing. You know what I'm saying? It's her own thing. She doesn't really want a team. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't really need a team. She don't care for a team. And I think that's, that's probably one of the misconceptions. Look, I'm, I'm from Houston, you know? I grew up in a neighborhood similar to a lot of wonderful women who are Lizzo, <laughs> Beyonce, you know. I think, you know, at the end of the day, I drew this character from a lot of my own experiences as a black woman, loving the, having the, the pride of, of a pop star being from my town, you know. And, and I think at the end of the day, we are just really, really, really excited for people to come and watch the show and to make their own assumptions about this show and then to have those assumptions turned on their head in a really great way. I watched Monster and I loved Charlize Theron's performance. I watched Boys Don't Cry and Hilary Swank or uh, Heath Ledger as a Joker and I wanted the opportunity to be able to really just be a character that was so far from me and just stretch myself as an actor and see what I was capable of. And, um, and that's why I really wanted to do it. I didn't want to catch up to myself as an actor. Like, I didn't really want to know what I was going to do next. Keep my own self on my toes. It was when I got the very first episode that I read, and I, when I finished reading it, I was in tears. I was absolutely crying, and the reason is because so much of Marissa is Chloe. And I think when you see how you look on the outside to people, it, it, it resonates deeper for you. And you know, with Marissa, she's seen as the positive bright light, the one who's holding her sister up, the one who is constantly sharing and giving love to her sister, Dre, and Khalid, her boyfriend, played by Damson. Donald and I set, we, we set out to do something that I think hasn't been done before, which is really like putting a black woman at the center of this kind of villainous story. You know, the, the pilot is very much an origin story, a rebirth. It's called Stung for a reason, you know, and it puts her on a journey, a trajectory that is good and bad and dark and funny. And I think at the end of the day, like we are doing something that I feel like is part of the Criterion Collection for black people. You know, everything was shot on film. All of the writers are black. All of the directors are black. 90% of the cast is black. And as well as the producers, you know, and this is like making some really cool avant-garde, out of the box, kind of spectacular, subverted, just very, 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 I think, in your face. TV and um, and we set out to do that and I think we accomplished it.